so today let us concentrate on both ellipse and hyperbola at a stretch let us define both of these curves as well as we can trace out the curves and we can uh, discuss about various terminology using in this both the loci cases today here if we define a straight line some l equals to 0 which is a fixed straight line and somewhere we imagine a fixed point yes later on which is defined as the low as the focus l is a fixed straight line s is a fixed point now if you are choosing a point p variable such that the ratio of distances from the fixed point taken and the fixed line taken that is sp and pm ratio if sp by pm is a constant then this locus will form a conic section as we have discussed in earlier classes here now especially this particular constant we define it as the eccentricity e shortly we denote it as e based on particular e numerical values we categorize various types of conic sections as we know already now in present case if this e value is less than 1 if e less than 1 then the locus will give you uh, an ellipse and in case if e greater than 1 the conic will become a hyperbola here as we are observing if e is less than 1 we get sp by pm is less than 1 that is sp is less than pm means the variable point p is always closer to the focus comparing to the fixed line taken so if we trace out such cases here we'll get various points and we'll discuss the shapes and all those later on after getting the standard form of this one in similar way if e greater than 1 we are getting the locus as a hyperbola in which we can find very clearly the variable point p is closer to the fixed line taken comparing to the focus here so sp by pm equals to eccentricity e based on eccentricity e values less than 1 and more than 1 we can define the locus as ellipse and hyperbola respectively in both the definitions this fixed point is called as the focus and the fixed line is defined as the directrix of the conic section so based on this fundamental definition we can define both of these curves at a stretch here yeah, just by using this standard equation we can define both of these in following way here the locus of a variable point moving in such a way that the ratio of its distances from a fixed point and a fixed line is always a constant e is defined as a conic section and in particular if e less than 1 the conic is defined as an ellipse and e greater than 1 the conic is defined as a hyperbola by using this standard equation if you randomly choose a line choose a point and substitute in these conditions we can get the standard form of this ellipse as well as a hyperbola as the second degree non-homogeneous equation in x and y ax square plus 2hxy plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equals to 0 considered as the standard equation for any conic section whether it is ellipse or hyperbola or parabola even as we have discussed earlier so if it is representing especially an ellipse now we get the condition that delta as we know already determinant a h g h b f g f c not equals to 0 and h square less than a b represents an ellipse 
h square greater than a b it represents a hyperbola like this we can classify the conic section various cases also by using this conditions mathematical conditions so now let us derive the standard form of ellipse in its simplest form so that because as we observe this one it is a lengthy equation whose properties are not easy to trace out and it is a very laborious task to us to simplify that one every time that is why to analyze these two conic sections in simpler way here essentially we require to introduce a simplest form to this. So, now let us focus on how to introduce the simplest forms of this ellipse as well as hyperbola at a stretch.